and welcome to another episode of HKOTG TV. My name is Man, and we're down at our buddy Edwin. Now, Edwin has currently, most people know, have opened a new shop down here in Quarry Bay, so he's moved from his smaller shop to a much bigger shop. Uh, CRW has come a long way, and we're really proud of the guy, so we're going to show him some support by making this video about his shop. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sure some of the admin will agree, and it's probably the biggest reason we come down here to CRW is because of his knickknacks. This is a great knickknack shop. If you're looking for something unique, Edwin probably has it. Um, he's a big fan of the 80s SAS style. He's got a lot of cool stuff. Um, one of the things uh, they're doing out now is they're replicating these um, SS, SAS style uh, mag pouches out of leather. They're replicating them because it's very difficult to find these things from the UK online now. So, they're pretty good. So, I'm sure we'll get a lot more stuff um, made out of leather for that style of airsoft. A lot of guys like the cosplay sort of um, SAS style things. We have this guy at the back here. He's creeping me out. Um, another couple of difficult things to find are these Surefire uh, attachments. Alright, so this is a classic style attachments for the Surefires. Um, this is a fully modded Glock. This is a Glock Gen 2, 17. Alright, so um, they've modded it to, so that it has no rail system. Back in the day, there were no rail systems on the guns. So this is what Surefire had to do. They had to like create stuff to fit different types of gun. This one fits the Glock. Now, um, these are pretty old, but a lot of people like these dials, and that's what kind of makes CLW unique, is that he has these cool pieces, um, like these. He goes out and he sources these Surefire grips. They're pretty cool. This one has got the presser switch. Uh, this one here is kind of unique. This one's on a cam. This is straight fit, no mod. Um, this one has the on-off switch. And what's kind of unique about this piece is that um, it doesn't say Surefire here, it says LPC, which means Laser Product Company. And if some of you guys didn't know, before Surefire was Surefire, they were Laser Product Company, which is cool. So it's got the old label on there, which makes it really rare and unique. And it's kind of cool thing, if you're looking for that Surefire look on your shotgun, this is something you'd really want, actually. It's old, it's rough, it's been used by somebody in the army, so it's pretty cool. So that's some of his cool stuff. They're really, really nice. Um, we've got this classic style um, flashlight. Uh, this fits on the, what does this fit on? M9. M9. Uh, this fits the M9 um, classic style with the classic light. You can see it's actually been uh, bumped and scratched by the military. So it's a really wear and tear. It's great. Price tag's great too, if you're rich. So these look good. These are amazing. Um, come down here to CRW. They got some amazing stuff. This is another little one. Um, this is something unique. Um, there's a really rare piece on here that they can't find a lot. So they reproduced this one piece. But the rest of it is an L-shaped mount for laser and the classic Surefire mount. Batteries go in here. It's really, really nice. And that's for the MP. Really, really cool. Now the MP's got all these cool Surefire extras on it. H and K. Really, really nice. So these are some of the unique things you can get down here. Um, really nice. A lot of us come down here just for the knickknacks. Some really hard to find pieces. 
Let's move on to something a bit more modern. So this is some of the modern, modern stuff that COW has. Um, where to start? Uh, let's start with this. So, ten, uh, 10 of these. Alright, so this is a, a steel uh, 226. No, it's a 228. My bad. 228. And actually, uh, this is one of those unknown brands. Um, and it's only about 10 of these were made. So, this is pretty cool. This is another thing that he's got. It's actually a really nice gun. Steel slide. 228. So you can come and get these down here as well. It's pretty awesome. And there's only 10 of them. So it's quite a unique little item. Um, we got this. Uh, 226 steel slide set. Only you can get these here at CRW. Um, full steel. Uh, steel clip as well. And uh, the lower is um, aluminium. Um, great set. Put that back down again. So you can only get these here, the 226 full steel slide. It's actually really, really nice. Um, then we got these Ghost Island set. These are from Taiwan. Uh, these are really cool. This is also full steel. Um, this is the Glock 27 steel slide. Um, it's got a little bit of wear. It's going to wear down quick as well. So it's really, really nice. So the look, really, really nice. Um, we got the full steel Beretta. Um, this can come in a black version and this chrome or silver version as well. Um, cool thing about this is that this silver one actually has the Italian markings on it. And uh, this black one, let me get it for you, has the American markings on it. So when in stock, you can choose between uh, the Italian markings or the American markings, whichever you prefer, which is pretty, pretty cool. This um, Ghost Island Beretta is whoa, full steel and it sounds absolutely amazing. Just listen to this. It's really, really nice. I'm just going to quickly dry fire it for you. To give you a, a quick show. It's actually very nice. Sounds great and it's heavy. Now, these Ghost Island sets are made for the Ta WE guns, the Taiwan guns. So, most of the kits will fit the WE guns. Why? Because their blowback is a lot harder and it can handle the steel slides better. Um, this also is an 18 Glock 18 steel slide, also by Ghost Island. Um, and one more cool thing about uh, with Ghost is Maricrop. Ghost Island has also got this. This is a lower quality metal uh, by Ghost Island. Um, Eddie has told me that uh, full steel version limited numbers. We're talking like five or seven limited, really, really limited of steel option. Um, of these is coming very very soon. So if you don't want the full steel, this is pretty cool And I like it because it actually comes In a box like it looks like it came from Russia. It's really really nice inside. It comes in a nice Nice little bag With the markings on it really really nice Inside see look at that got a silencer and the macro of itself in a metal color um, very very nice I'm not gonna cock that it's out of the box give me a second okay so that's the macro of um, one other thing to make mention of another little item that sells out quite quick everywhere and he has a few are these Inokatsu 1911s um, I'm not gonna cock it it's brand new um, so these are also steel versions as well, uh, CO2. So some of these items, really cool, steel options. We all like our steel options. Come on down to CRW, he has everything and more, and little knickknacks, the shop is huge. Um, all of us admins, we all come down here to find little things, you know, like the little uh, mag extensions for our glocks, slides, he's got all the Zev slides, he's got all the nice little knickknacks that we need and looking for. So like, share, subscribe, uh, link to Eddie's on, uh, face on his Facebook is in the description below. Thanks for watching, see you later.